So, the heat wave. This glorious looking new weapon. Like, what is this, man? It has that sleek forerunner design. People are saying it's Promethean, but I'm here to say I don't think it is at all. My theory is that 343 has already, in a very low-key manner, set the stage for who you will be fighting with and against. And that happened back in July 2020. We saw the pilot. We know that he is like a brother-in-arms. We got a hint at the weapon and confirmation of the weapon in 2021. We know Cortana's in the game. We got introduced to the Banish back in July. Uh, we got introduced to Eshram. And during Eshram's speech, he says something that's very interesting. Watch this here. We are one step ahead. Always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. We all remember this trailer. Some of us were fans, some of us were not. But this specific point in Eshram's speech is what I think was essentially letting us know that here are the big three factions you are going to be fighting against in Halo Infinite. We've heard nothing about Prometheans. We've heard nothing about Flood. We've heard nothing about any of the, uh, you know, other factions apart from strictly we know humans are in the game, we know Banished are in the game, and then this strange new individual or potentially faction called the Harbinger. And that, my friends, is why I believe the Heat Wave is a weapon tied to the Harbinger, right? Doesn't look like Banished doesn't look like human. Maybe it's ancient human or whatever. I'm not really into that deep of the lore of Halo. Right, maybe that could be something that's tied to it. But I, 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 from what I can see from marketing is that we've heard of the humans, we've heard of the Banished, we've heard of the Harbinger. We've never heard of the Flood. We've never heard of the Prometheans. We've never heard of anything else that we fought uh, in the game. These are the three that, that have been brought up and there's been nothing else through the, through the, through the past year since that trailer that we've heard about. So this is why I believe this weapon is a weapon that the Harbinger use, and it's an introduction to this this third and potentially final faction. I'm not sure, it's a live service game, so I wouldn't be surprised that if in the future we have Flood, if we have a return to a, like a redesign of the Prometheans, because I don't see the classic you know, looking Prometheans that we had in four and five come back uh, in Halo Infinite because it's just two different art styles. But I regress. The point is, I think that this weapon has to do with uh, a potential old el enemy or new enemy. Maybe it's just renamed. Who knows? But that's my theory. Everyone's questioning what this weapon is and where it comes from. That's what I think. Right? We've had hints at it. The marketing has set the set the pace for what the game is. And although it hasn't been much of a deep dive into it, that's what I personally believe. Leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, I would love to get into the discussion. It looks like a forerunner weapon, but I believe it's tied to an enemy that we potentially have not seen before, right? Or if we have, they're just named differently. Maybe it's a different part of a faction that we fought before. Who knows? Dude, there's so many potential you know, realities <laughs> of what I'm getting into here. So, uh, yeah, but that's what I'm thinking. Heat Wave, just like the Skewer is a banished weapon, Heat Wave is a Harbinger weapon, and that the Assault Rifle and Battle Rifles are all that are human weapons. And that's why I think there's three factions initially that we're going to fight, and that's the one that it's tied to. Um, but I would love to see Flood. I would love to see um, a variety of different factions come in to the game in the future. Uh, so, I don't know. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Let me know your thoughts. Catch you on the next one. Peace.